Hello everybody, Ashes101 here, and a very warm welcome to another episode from the Cranky Craft server. The new Cranky Craft 1.5 server. <laughs> Which uh, I'm absolutely delighted about. Cranky done a great job getting us upgraded onto 1.5. Now, um, my no workplace accident signs. Some people clearly <laughs> have been taking liberties. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> oh, Medillo. Brilliant. Right, um, yeah, basically, um, I wanted to hop on here first. There's something else uh, I wanted to do this episode, but um, as you can see here, someone's already been busy. Look at all these hoppers. They've got a little thing set up here. Uh, let's have a look. So load cobble in these two chests. Cobble up there. That's going to feed them, as I understand it, into there and into the furnaces. Coal goes in the chest. There's some coal. Then the furnace is busy working away by themselves. Smooth stone. Ah, no, these have all got hoppers. So it'll drop down. Yeah, and there you go, and end up at the bottom. And then these will slowly fill up right up to there. Brilliant. Look at that, that's good, isn't it? So you can just load up loads rather than having to keep coming back like the old system. Keep coming back all the time and oh, take them out and put a new, new lot in. This way, look at that, fill up those two double chests. I imagine you could probably put more on top of that if you wanted to. And just the whole time you're anywhere about, while well, this chunk's loaded, it's just going to be uh, smelting away. Excellent. But, this is what I really wanted to show you. Now, I've been away visiting family for a couple of days, so I left these signs. Looking for work, best place to start is the corridors. See the creative design world for an example. Um, obviously, when I was trying to show this design to the other guys, I made a little sample sort of room and a small section of corridor just to um, send to them so that they could go on it, have a look, and see exactly what I was talking about. Um, side pillars every five blocks, double redstone lamps every five blocks in the ceiling, cheers, ashes. So I just thought, you know, since I'm not going to be about for a couple of days, um, I'll just leave a note. If anyone wants to hop on and have a little work, you know, I imagine obviously um, most people will probably be just busy doing their own things or whatever, but if anyone was thinking, oh, I want to help out the labyrinth, um, you could start sticking up some corridors and everything like that. Um, this was literally 48 hours ago or less I put these signs here. I come on right now and <laughs> look at this. It's just like done. All of this, see, all the layout um, was complete, um, but just a floor plan. And then look at this. This is all built up, and I'm just stunned. So I just had to start recording at this point. Um, now I want to see if I can, if I can get inside. Let's see if we can find a gap because I've not, I've not been in there yet, and I'm thinking. Aha, yeah. Round, ooh, a bit jerky with the sprinting sometimes if I'm lagging. I'm thinking round the, round the base. Yeah, looks like we can get in there. Let's pull down. Yes, all right. Okay, so right, just oh, so they've just done, just the wall ceilings. Um, obviously, it's not gonna end up looking like this it's going to be a lot more detailed a lot more finished um, and there's a lot more to come to this build yet but let's just oh this is amazing let's just have a walk around uh, <laughs> this is what I'm talking about and now viewers for the first time you're getting getting a proper impression I think of um, of what this this map is going to be about look at this is great. Now a lot of thought has gone into this layout. Um, what you will find is, so I see we were up there a second ago. So a lot of thought has gone into it. You'll find a lot of times when people are exiting their base, there'll be one route, like for example at that one I came out left out of that base and I could come up here to an excellent strong defensive position. Um, but there'll be another route, see so if I'd have gone right I'd probably be on a weaker foot. Um, so depending whether you're attacking or defending, you know, there's easier and there's more difficult routes to go. Um, but it, see, if I'm down here and I'm getting attacked by the guys out of that base, I know I can go back that, that way, the way I came, and, and outflank them. 
um, and that's basically I've tried to build that into everywhere in in the design so that there's always there's always a counter to every uh, defensive position here there's always some way you can outflank somebody um, there's always uh, some way you can be in a better uh, position getting the high ground and such um, if you're prepared to go a slightly longer route perhaps oh man look at this epic chuffed alright well um, I can't believe how much work they've done just uh, just over it was only like the Sunday I was away <laughs> Incredible. Oh, this is great. Well, I'm probably going to run around here for, for five minutes. <laughs> um, but I'll bring you guys back in because uh, I have something... Ooh. Ho, ho, ho. Room has begun clearly on this section. Oh, look at that. KK. Cranky Craft. Fantastic. Fantastic. Right. Um, so, yeah, I'll bring you guys back in. Um where we're going to do something uh, partially to help out with the build and uh, and partially to help out with with my own world uh, well not my own world my own build as well uh, so see you in a minute okay so you guys know what 1.5 means for me 1.5 means quartz and <laughs> and there we go <laughs> Hi. Oh, fantastic. My first quartz. <gasps> Can I reach it? Oh, brilliant. Ah, oh, now this will be a nice test as well. Because... Oh, I can't reach it. Ugh. Because you're meant to be able to fortune it, I believe. So this is Silk Touch I'm using right now, so don't panic. Let's just... Oh. Sure, I get it all. Thank you, whoever left this. Oh. I'm not going to be able to jump up that, am I? I'm making a hash of this. Uh, get that one. There we go. And the eye we want. Brilliant. Yeah, you're meant to be able to fortune this, so we want to go across. Yeah. We'll see how many we get. Oh, come on. Kirok, say hello to Kirok, everybody. I've just been to he just popped on. I've just been talking to him about uh, how much they've all done over the weekend. It's been incredible. Oh, yeah, the windows. Thank you, everybody, who uh, gave their input. The... Um, the design here with the double glazing seemed to come out on top and I agree I'm thinking replace these bits with quartz jazz it up a little bit um, possibly because you love to start there's uh, quartz stairs and everything so possibly the whole window surround could be I'll play around uh, we'll see what we get um, but yes 1.5 means quartz um, so I am going to go on what could end up being fairly extended nether mission uh, and I'm sure I won't be the only one right fortune 3 here we go so 21 quartz or see how many we get ah, lovely 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 Past 21. So, yes, you can fortune it. That's confirmed, as if you needed me to tell you. 44. 44. Fantastic. Let's store that away safe. We'll pop it in here. I'll probably lose it. <laughs> and this is what we came back to base for. We are going to collect this for our um, nether mission. This is my new brimstone armor I made. So we've got Blast Protection 4 for the Ghasts, and all the other bits have got Fire Protection 4 on there. Um, I don't want to go a long way away from my base to find Quartz, um, get lots of Quartz, 
and then die and lose it all. <laughs> so I want to pretty much guarantee as far as possible in the nether that I'm not going to die and if that means uh, having enough protection that I can go in lava once or twice that would be fantastic. Um, you could do with some improvements still, I'd like to get further falling on there but uh, th this will do for now. As you can see I've got some equipment there to make uh, some extended potions of fire protection as well so I'm going to take those with me um, I'm going to take the fortune pick um, I'm going to leave the cotton fondler I don't want to risk losing that and I don't need the silk touch if I can fortune the glowstone as well because that's the other reason I want to uh, go to the nether the quartz mainly for myself although we might use it a little bit in the labyrinth build, labyrinth build. Um, but we also are going to need a hell of a lot of glowstone in the labyrinth and I basically don't have any to contribute <laughs> um, and you know I know everybody else, you're, it's, it's something you always run short of so I don't want to be asking everybody to uh, give in all their glowstone so while I'm off collecting quartz I'll collect as much glowstone as I can as well to use on the labyrinth um, and hopefully if I'm lucky we might have some left over for me to keep too um, so my construction boots want to go in there safe and sound as well don't they um, and that should be just about right there's no point taking a watch down there there's no point taking a bucket of water in the nether and there's no point taking my good axe either so I may as well keep that stuff like so fortune pick and ch -ch -ch. Shall we also take a little helper? That's my little one I was using for digging out. <laughs> um, got a standard efficiency 3 one as well. I'll take that just for general digging. We'll just use the fortune on the quartz. Right, very good. So I have my nether armor. I'm going to stop off and make these uh, potions. Oh, doing the jerky sprinting again. I'm going to stop off and yeah, make the potions uh, on my way to the nether and damn it <laughs> uh, and uh, hopefully you will join me back in the nether see you shortly okay so I've got my potions as you can see I've uh, done the extended ones so 8 minutes each um, and I've got 3 of them so hopefully if I fall in lava and that, that can be my first thing, is to chug one of them um, and hopefully be okay. Um, just reminded me as I was coming along here actually, I believe in 1.5 um, mobs are meant to stay away from tracks naturally. Um, unless it's a hostile mob trying to attack you, that's as much as I understand it. Um, and these annoy the hell out of me. So I won't do it all now, but I'm going to take these down. Um, and we'll go back to just being like this uh, basically which will be a lot nicer for the glass tunnel I've got down there you'll actually be able to see where you're going as you go along um, and I think that's a, a great improvement so hopefully zombie pigman won't um, won't get in my way here um, but I'll finish up the rest of that off camera uh, so what I'm gonna do basically here now as you know this the nether hub is over there uh, my base goes off in this direction to this point uh, at my portal. I don't know how much further in that direction has been explored, but I think that's my best bet to find some uh, some unrendered chunks. Uh, so what I'm basically going to do is go off in this direction. Um, I have been down this way before, just down here. This was my little... Um, if it's still open, my little lava collection area. <laughs> That's where I got all my lava from for the pool, uh, the heated pool outside my mansion. <laughs> um, but I'm just going to go basically flat off in, in that direction um, and hopefully find some nice um, unrendered chunks uh, which will give us some nether quartz. Uh, I've no idea how far I'm going to have to go so I'm not going to record it um, but hopefully when I bring you back uh, we will be in sight of some quartz. See you shortly. And boom, there we have it. Nether quartz ore. Look at that. One, two, three separate bits there, right in one small section. Four, 
fantastic. Oh, there's more over there. This is great. And I didn't have to come too far at all, I wouldn't have said. Let's see. My, um, my base, I just went right in a straight line. And my base was on uh, Z minus 100-ish. Um, because I'm about a thousand blocks away. It's about uh, Z minus 1, 100, 125 or so. Um, so I've only had to come about, what, 400 blocks or less. Um, and in newly generated terrain. Absolutely fantastic. That's not too bad at all. Right, I've got it on video there what the coordinates are for that to get back to it. Um, and look at, oh, look at all this. Look, there's more hidden up there. Fantastic, right. Let's get up there. Seem to be getting some lighting glitches. I've noticed some glowstone. Um, not quite lighting up properly and stuff like that as I get near it. Let's open this out. Oh, look at this. Nice big uh, veins as well. I had read that it was as common as basically iron in the overworld. Um, but obviously you can have more of it exposed as well, but just because of how the nether looks. So, that seems to be the case. It seems fairly abundant. I can't pick it up after all that. See with mushroom, get out of the way. Look at this. Oh, everybody say goodbye to Kirok. There we go. And if you're anything like me, you pause the video then to go back and <laughs> have a snoop at what the conversation was about we were having. Because I always do that when I see the chat come up. <laughs> yeah, see you, mate. No, he left. Ah, damn it. I'm always doing that too. <laughs> oh. oh, this is great. Look at all this you get. Absolutely fantastic. Ah. Oh, got one without fortune then. Never mind. Seems to be, as I say, plenty of it about, so not too hard to get and of course the more we get the more we will be able to incorporate into the mansion and that's really the primary concern oh yeah look fantastic just this without leaving this one little area I got a full stack there already god I'm not missing any am I? yes I am look at that absolutely brilliant oh we don't need that oh we certainly don't need that as well <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to carry on collecting this. I'll also be getting uh, all the glowstone I can as well, like I say, for the labyrinth. Um, and uh, I think that just about wraps it up. Um, this might have been a little bit of a shorter episode. Uh, but that's really all I wanted to get across. Just a little welcome into 1.5. Find ourselves some quartz. Show you my new uh, l uh, nether armor set. Um, which is... Uh, might get some stuff added to it yet, um, and hopefully we will get uh, get loads and loads of this quartz into the lab, uh, into the mansion as we go, and lots and lots of glowstone to continue work on the labyrinth. Uh, so thank you very much for watching, guys. As always, I've been Ashes101, and I will see you. Look at all my quotes. <laughs> I will see you next time.